All right, day two of the season. And already we're on nice, soft, virgin cow. Got about six of us out today. One snow bike, that's me, obviously. You can hear by the sound. Let's go back and see if they're, they've made it up the beaver slide yet. Oh yeah, it's good. Hopefully there's nothing under this virgin stuff. Go back and see how oh, they're, there they are. A tree down right there. That's the beaver slide down there. Sounds like they're coming up. Beautiful up here today. Oh, and by the way, the bike is running way quieter. I think we um, got to the bottom of it. I had too much block in the air intake. Too much frog skin I put on there, so I cut out some extra holes, and it sounds way better. We'll see on the fuel consumption, but because I ran out like it's only 25 miles, usually I can go 40 something, so something was wrong there. Hopefully, that's all there was to it because I got some pre foam filters right there, and I had a, um, I had actually two layers of frog skin on top of a sandwich in between was a regular foam filter so I just cut out most of that left one layer of frog skin still seals up pretty good around the edges maybe if I pull the box off I'll take a picture of it I don't think I'll be getting any powder packed into it today though but this is nice nice snow And I'm even boondocking. Gotta be careful though, because I mean, look at that, like that stump right there. Some hidden obstacles under the snow. Guess it shouldn't be too much different from riding with wheels, right? You ride over bumps, right? Just go over it. Just wood. It's not like it's a rock. At least up here. It's not as rocky. Whoa. That was a punji stick. This new ski setup with the upgraded carbides and feels way better already. Yeah, I'm carving it much better. Yeah, I can almost... Yeah, I can almost touch handlebar, whoa! Yeah, it makes a huge difference. to be able to lean it over quite this much. Oh. Oh. 
Got a little sled testing going on. So I went to the Forest Service um, objection meeting yesterday for the, um, what are they calling it, the plan. That's what it said on the document. Also known as the plan, the forest plan. The mind comp of the Forest Service for this area. And it sure looks convoluted with all the boundaries. But anyway, I was not an official objector, so. I couldn't talk. I was kind of digging those Fafa hats. I need to get a Fafa hat. A few guys like that. There really weren't that many people there, but that plan is really going to convolute things. It's like we'll have to know if we can drive this through that tree line there. Who knows? Of course, this area is all considered backcountry motorized. So, if it all went into effect, this stuff would be fine. But then there's a lot of, like, complicated areas. I'm going to see if I can get through this minefield here. I still got to keep remembering to be heads up. I rode this so much in the spring. Didn't have to think twice about pristine meadow like this. Hitting something hidden underneath. Well, Forrest is leaning it over. He must be confident. Might as well blow out his knee now before surgery. He was so tempted to get on my bike when I offered it up. But he's like, I better not. I know, once I get him on it, he'll want to buy one. It's like someone's been back here. To just be looking one way and chunk a stump. Well, one good thing about this time of year is that tree wells haven't developed so big, so it's a little more even cruising around through here. Once we get some melts and freezes, these tree wells create some narrower bridges you got to get through. Anyway, about the Fafa hats, forest access for all. I like that concept. I don't know as much about the group. They had some sweet hats. Vintage style. And you gotta love the acronym, Fafa. Or maybe it's Fafa. Fafa, Fafa. Maybe I need to re be retired to get one of those though. Yeah, someone's been snowmobiling down there. YZ450F 2018 
handles that stuff way better than the old Suzuki with the older timber sled setup. Definitely can turn it. Go up a steeper hill. Not even full throttle. I hate to see how much power if I put a Yeti track on, which might be in the works this winter. I do like these camzos though. Like, just so controllable. Because of that monorail, but then again that Yeti SS is so narrow to begin with. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do with all that power. Well, now we're battling. Got myself in the woods. And there's a lot of down trees to contend with. Guess I better go out the way I came in. I was hoping to get over to the other meadow. And I'm not seeing a clear shot. Well, there's a shot. I don't know, I got these sliders with me. I don't want to try to make them go back in here. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. It's not too bad. There are probably some rocks down there somewhere. I hope that's not a pond. <laughs> it's good. All right, let's try it. I was hitting some dirt. 